Hello, you're welcome to another episode of uh, my favorite vow. And um, today I'm looking at um, another verse I found very interesting. And that is in um, Jonah chapter 1, verse 17. Jonah chapter 1, verse 17. It says, Now the Lord had prepared, appointed, destined a great fish to swallow Jonah. And Jonah was in the stomach of the fish three days and three nights. Um, what caught my attention was the Lord preparing. He said, Now the Lord has prepared, had appointed, destined a great fish to swallow Jonah. God always prepares, like from the beginning of the Bible, I've always seen God to be somebody that um, prepares, he plans what he's going to do. So nothing takes God by surprise. And um, sometimes it takes many years for God to prepare just for one day. That's what I know God to be, who I know God to be. He always prepares for his people, prepares for events, prepares for something that is coming. Even if it's 1,000 years to come, God is always preparing something. And um, that is a lesson to us as human beings, as Christians, that we should always prepare, we should always plan. And um, it's also interesting to know that God has prepared for us. I think it's in First Corinthians uh, chapter 2 that said, um, Eyes have not seen, nor ears heard, nor hands imagined what God has prepared for his children. So God has prepared for each and every individual on earth, especially those that have given their lives to Jesus. God has a plan for you. Um, he says the plans for you had plans of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. So God has a plan. He has prepared something for you. All that is left for us is uh, to key into what God has prepared and enjoy everything he has for us. Even in future to come, Jesus, when he was leaving, he told the disciples that I go to a place and to prepare a place for you. You see, God is always preparing. Jesus is always preparing. The Holy Spirit is always preparing for us. And it's a good thing to know that God has plans for us and God has preparations. He has prepared great things for us. Now, the second part of that verse is also very interesting. And Jonah was in the stomach of the fish three days and three nights. Now, if you are um, a Christian, you that three days and three nights sounds familiar, right? And Jesus actually men mentioned this when he was on earth. He said, as Jonah was in the belly of a fish three nights and uh, three days and three nights so we lie you know um die and be buried but we resurrect on the third day so jesus made mention of this so you know i was not thinking god why god was um dealing with jonah he was detailing for jesus you know so even though god was preparing was doing something at the presence but that presence that present thing he was doing was a preparation for what he's going to do in the future. See how interesting God is. Uh, so no event is like a mistake in God's calendar. He might be doing something right now, but what he's doing is actually a preparation for what he's going to do in the future. So he was dealing with Jonah. He was preparing a great fish to swallow Jonah up, you know, just to deal with Jonah's situation at that moment. But it was actually a preparation, a prophecy, a uh, prototype, a plan for what is going to happen to his only begotten son when he comes on the earth. God is so interesting. And that tells us also as Christians that no event in your life is a mistake or no event in your life is, um, um, don't take it for granted. Whatsoever God is doing in your life right now, it might be dealing with you right now. But that event is also for a future reason. God always links it up. There is no event that is isolated in the life of a Christian. I always say nothing happens to a Christian by mistake. Something, um, God has, God plans something. Even though it might look like a mistake to you, but it's actually like a miracle. God can turn into a miracle. David made a mistake, went to Bathsheba, gave birth to the first son, he died. Solomon became... The king, you know, although it was David's mistake, but God turned it into a miracle. So God knows how to link events, um, especially in the life of those that believe in him. Very interesting thoughts for us to know. And I pray that whatsoever God has planned for us and prepared for us as Christians, we will not miss it. We will get the best of God's plan.
in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Bye.